What is up guys? This video is going to be all about how to use the Fidelity stock screener. If you are a Fidelity member and you don't use all its features, or if you are considering Fidelity, this is going to be a video that you're going to want to watch so you can find that great investment. So one thing to note, if you are going to be using the Fidelity stock screener, you must have an account with Fidelity. Now Fidelity does have a 30 day free option. You can sign up for 30 days and get guest access. So when you're logged into Fidelity and you have an account, you want to go to the news and research section to access the stock screener. Go down to stocks. Now this is the research center. And if you want to find your screeners, you simply come down here to the left. If you already have some screeners, you can access some that you previously had right here. If you want to create a new one, you hit stock screeners. So as you can see, I can access my previous screens right here, or I can start a new screen. So stock screeners are a very important tool for stock trading, especially when you're looking for different types of investments, whether it's stocks, EFTs, or mutual funds. So to the left here, you have your criteria filter, which is the main filter you're probably gonna use. Over here to the right, you have some shortcuts, most popular growth, growth value, uh, technical income, et cetera, or you can go by themes. We'll check some of these out a little later. But if you wanna be more specific, you come over here to the criteria section. At the top, you can search for something. So if you wanna do price, you can simply search. And as you search, so let's say dividend, you can kinda narrow things down a little bit uh, that way so it's a little bit more convenient and fast. Or you can do view all and it kind of gives you a bunch of lists and you can kind of check everything. Or you can simply come down here and click on different criteria that you're looking for to find a particular stock. Now, it's overwhelming. There's a lot of different ways on the Fidelity stock screener to get to the same spot. So what I mean by that is you can search for things, you can do the view all and kind of check boxes. You can come over here to the right and you can kind of click on different um, things that you might be looking for with stocks, it all brings you to the same spot. So for this video, we're just going to kind of focus on the stock screener criteria to the left. Depending on what we're looking at, we have a lot of different kind of options. I mean, if we want to just look at something that's low in price, we can click security price and it gives you kind of a range. So if I want like cheap penny stocks, if I'm looking for something like that, I can click here and as you can see, there's 1,791 stocks that are less than $3.02. If I wanna do some more blue chip stocks, I can come to the very high priced stocks um, and you can see like Google, Amazon, et cetera. So you can kind of click around and it will filter everything and all the matches for all your criteria are gonna show up here. So this number might get higher or lower depending on what you click. So as you can see, the basic company criteria, you have uh, basics So what kind of stock are you looking to invest? Are you looking for index funds, EFTs? You know, what sector? Let's say you're looking for a particular sector. So you can see all the different kind of options here, energy, materials, industry. You can do basic revenue. Like, is this company profitable? Total cash on hand. How much cash does this company have? Um, employees. Then the next category down is dividends. So a lot of people like to invest in stocks that give good dividends. What's cool about here is you can actually see if the X dividend date is upcoming and you can see different ones that are coming up. So you also have the dividend amount. So if you're looking for a high dividend, dividend payouts in terms of percentage and quarter, how the company's doing in terms of its dividend growth rates, et cetera. Um, earnings information. So if you're looking for earnings reports, if you're looking for surprises or negatives, if you're looking to kind of swing trade or day trade and you're looking for when earnings might be released and that's something you wanna play, you can look at the positive earnings or negative surprises. Company value, this kind of is a recap of earnings, but it gives more price for the book value, um, price for cash flow, price for earnings ratios. So some of these menus actually have sub menus. And then you can kind of click on everything as you need to. Company growth, looking at how the company's doing over a certain period of time with its earnings per share, 
and different revenue growth, management and growth options, like quite a few here. So there's a lot of options for you to find that needle in a haystack, clearly. Um, volatility, if you're more of a technical analyst and you have the technical options here, you can do volatility, you can do all the different chart technical patterns, you can do more bullish stuff, and it will give you all the different bullish technicals that have come out in the last couple of days, and you can kind of play off of those. So if you scroll over here, after putting in those charts, you can see it gives all the examples of different chart technicals on the bullish side. So if you click on it, you get a date. So if you want to know, is this a recent kind of bullish technical or is this an older one, you click on them. And then you can kind of play around from there. So all of these are bullish technicals. And then if I wanted to go further, I can add more criteria. Because as you can see, if I just did bullish technicals, it'd be 2,304 stocks. You also have trading characteristics. So if you want to know if something is a low float stock, has a lot of institutional ownership or volume, etc. And then analyst opinions. So you pretty much have everything that you need with all of these categories to the left to find the stock that you need. Okay, so we are going to do an example of the stock screener. We're going to start off with security price. We're going to do a high security price. So as you can see, there's 1,107 stocks right now. I'm also going to click a stock that has some solid revenue because I want a stable investment. And as you can see, because I have a medium to very high revenue and a security price of 31 to $70, it goes down to 853 potential matchups. Let's say I want to see if there's a couple that have a good dividend yield. So I click medium to very high and as you can see, there's 254 now. So it's went from 1,107 to 852 to 254. So you can kind of see which filter is affecting the amount of stocks you receive right here. Let's say that the earnings is medium to very high as well. So we have a stock that is doing very well with revenue, has a dividend, has a nice earnings per share amount. So we have 174 potential options so far. Let's see if any of these have a bullish candlestick pattern. So of all those stocks, there's 112 that are currently having a good bullish technical. So now it's down to 55 potential stocks that are meeting all of these criteria. And let's keep going to narrow it down. So you can do a couple different technical events if you're looking for particular chart information. So when I put in the insider purchases, it only narrows it down to five potential stocks. So all of these stocks right here, these five stocks started with 1,107. Now it's down to five with all of these different criteria that I put in. So this is probably where you're going to do a majority of your work with your stock screeners, this left criteria menu. So that's just one example of you know, using this stock screener. So if you don't like some of the criteria and filters that you put on, you can simply X them out right here. And if you X them out, it will bring you back up to the previous criteria. So it's a really cool feature just to kind of play around with a lot of these different options for criteria. And then if you want more information on the particular stocks, you simply click on them and it will give you the basic overview that Fidelity provides on each individual stock. Another thing that you can do with your stock screener is click on these little menus and it will rank the stocks based on these little menus. So let's say I want the uh, higher revenue ones to be up top. I click that and it will change the order so that the higher revenues will be on top. If I want security price, then I can rank it by security price. So it just gives you another way to kind of break things down on top of everything else. When you wanna clear your criteria search, it's very simple. You can clear it or you can save it to your screens. But if I wanna clear everything, I can clear everything and kind of start fresh. And depending on what you're looking at, depending on you know what kind of trader you are, you're gonna plug in all this information 
And it's going to take that, that overwhelming amount of options out there and narrow it down to something that you're looking for. So this is a great tool. And it's not the only stock screener, but Fidelity does have award-winning kind of features on its website. In terms of other ways to find stocks, you can click on these sort of symbols if you're just kind of uh, browsing. So if you click on most popular, it gives you um, some different options here. So high quality dividends, you got um, big buys, best bargains. It also gives you a shortcut to more short term investings like you're just playing the bullish wave right now. Let's click on big buys, best bargains. So these are Fidelity's picks and everything's in alphabetical order. And it's 202. Basically, it preloads all the criteria for me. So it, it really gives me a snapshot of things that have already been preloaded. And there's 202 stocks. So Fidelity does a lot of the work for you if you click on those shortcuts. Let's try another one. Income and growth. So now there's 19 stocks in this Fidelity recommended income and growth. So it kind of does all the criteria here. And I could go back and edit any of these if I want to narrow down things a little bit more. So these are 19 stocks that fit income and growth that are Fidelity's sort of picks. So this is kind of a newer feature of Fidelity that is beneficial, especially if you're not really sure of kind of how to use the stock screener or what you're looking for. These would be something that you'd wanna use, okay? And if you're looking more for the thematic approach, like, okay, let's do some construction. You've got all of your main construction staples here. If you want some other kind of theme like healthcare, boom, you know, pretty self-explanatory stuff. It just really is a great way to kind of simplify the process of finding stocks. So you can do all of your homework with little details. If you're a stat person and you really want to find that great, you know, needle in a haystack, then the left criteria filter is going to be for you. If you're just kind of open to whatever is recommended, then you might want to check out um, the themes or the strategies of Fidelity Stock Screener. All right, so I hope you found this video informative, especially if you are thinking about Fidelity as a potential broker, or if you have Fidelity and you haven't really exercised the Stock Screener or really looked into all the features that it offers. Thank you guys. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that like button.